Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the first video in playlist that will demonstrate the working of project on fuzzy keyword search over encrypted data in cloud computing. So let's start. The topics that we will cover are what is fuzzy keyword search over encrypted data in cloud computing and how our project implements it. So what is fuzzy keyword search over encrypted data in cloud computing? First we will see what is fuzzy search. Fuzzy search is approximate string matching when user misspelled this language as shown here in the ppt it will be corrected to the correct spelling of the language this is what is fuzzy search consider a scenario where user want to search a keyword language user misspelled it and clicked on the search button the data in the database is in encrypted form now we will try to search the encrypted data for the inputted misspelled language keyword which will be converted to language and display the result. The technique that we will use to match the keyword with the encrypted keyword in the database is called as the fuzzy keyword search over encrypted data in cloud computing. Let's see the working of project. Consider the first scenario where administrator want to upload a file on the cloud and keywords associated with the file ok suppose admin uploaded a file name abc.txt then we will use the base64 encode to encrypt the file and we will store the base64 encoded file onto the file system ok this is the secret name and the keywords that are associated with the files will generate the engrams from the keywords these engrams will be encrypted using a secret key and these engrams will be stored onto the database in a cloud server ok so we have now uploaded the file and the keywords which are both in encrypted form now consider a second scenario where users want to search for a file so user will type a keyword in a search box Suppose user has misspelled a spelling of language and clicked on the search button. Then we will generate n-grams from the given keywords. Okay. And then we will encrypt the n-grams with the AES encryption using the same secret key. So that we will get same encryption from the given keywords. Then we will match the n-grams in the database with the n-grams that we have created from the search keyword. Okay. Then we will obtain the sets of engrams where it matches the given engrams in the search box button. Now from the obtained engrams we will calculate the jacquard and keep the final set of engrams for a keyword that is corrected version of language. Now we know which keyword matches the keyword in the database and according to the keyword in the database we will fetch the file from the file system. We will decrypt the file and send to the user and the file will be downloaded by the user this is what our project works now let's see what are the encryption techniques that we have used in our project base64 encode and decode technique is used for encrypting and decrypting the files that will be uploaded to the server file system ok so all the files that we will upload will be encrypted and decrypted using base64 encode and decode and we have used the AES encryption for encrypting the keywords, the engrams of the keywords. Okay. Now let's see the coding for the engram and the jacquard. The code for creating engrams and jacquards are written in the following files in the project. The code method for engram is located in EKS applications library engram.php. We have created a library engram dot php for creating the n-gram and code snippet for jacquard calculation is present in eks in controllers in user dot php in search function when you will download the project you can see the files in that project now what is the new technique that we have used to improve the search result suppose we have to store a keyword language the n-grams will be L A N A N G N G U G U A U A G A G E. The encrypted engrams might be T H R Y U seven T F N blah blah. Storing T H R into index zero table that is the first table in our database. Storing Y U seven into second table. Storing T F five into third table and so on. So rather than storing all engrams into single table, we are storing the first engram into first table, second engram into second table, third engram into third table and so on. 
so this will reduce the number of comparisons that is required to match the engrams and hence faster the results the technologies that we have used in our projects are php mysql codeignator php framework html and css thank you